معانا النهارده حوار مهم جدا مع وكيل اعمال الفلسطيني وسام ابو علي صفقه الاهلي الجديده يوكب كروجر مستر يوكب كروجر اهلا بيك منورنا ومشرفنا في موقع في الجول في البدايه كده عايزين نعرف متى بدات المفاوضات النادي الاهلي معاك لانتقال وسام ابو علي للنادي الاهلي Uh, if I remember, I think we had the first uh, talk um, in the yeah, uh, late of uh, November, in the beginning of uh, December. Uh, that was when we uh, first started to speak with the club. عايزين نعرف رد فعلك ورد فعل وسام وعلي عندما علمت بمفاوضات النادي الأهلي معك كان الرد إيه؟ I think that uh, Wesson from the beginning was uh, very excited uh, to have the opportunity to to play for. For such a big club, uh, so um, from right from beginning, it uh, it was very clear that that Vesam really want to join Al Ahly. Um, uh, it's no secret that there was um, a lot of clubs, also European clubs and clubs from MLS, trying to to get him. But uh, Vesam was from the beginning uh, quite clear with me that uh, if we could make it with. على علي هي واس ذات واس وير هي بريفير تو بلاي طيب هل كان في بمناسبه ان انت موجود معانا فعايز وانت لاول مره تطلع في اي وسيله اعلاميه مصريه فعايزين نعرف هل وسام ابو علي كان في ليه عروض عربيه او من انديه مصريه ولا كان الاهلي فقط؟ يا ده واس نوت اوفرس بس ذير واس اذر ايجيبشن كلوبس اند اند اولسو سم اوفرس فروم كلوبس ان in the Middle East, uh, but um, in Vesam's mind, uh, if he should go to Egypt, the only club he wanted to play for was uh, Al Ali. So uh, there was no negotiations and no offers from, offers from other clubs uh, in, in, in Africa. It was, uh, was Vesam's choice that, that uh, if he should go there, it would uh, be Al Ali he would play for. So, so, but there was other clubs asking for him as well. كان في كلام اتقال في بعض الاخبار الصحفيه ان مفاوضات الاهلي مع وسام ابو علي كانت في شهر 10 صحه الكلام ده ايه no, you can say it's it's always a little bit difficult exactly to 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 say when the negotiation started um, maybe the first contact was a little bit earlier it could be october or in uh, in start of november but uh, But the, the real negotiations, at least, they they started end of uh, October. Um, oh, sorry, end of uh, November, start December. But uh, the first contact could have been a little bit earlier. But it's it's quite common in our business that um, there is a lot of contact before the real negotiation starts, and therefore the first uh, contact could have been in October or something. And uh, but for me, the real negotiation started. Um, late November and start December. متى تحدث السويسري مارسيل كولر المدير الفني للنادي الاهلي مع وسام ابو علي؟ هل قبل قبل اتمام الصفقه ام بالظبط اتكلم معاه امتى؟ No, um, all the conversation we had was uh, with Mr. Amir and it was um, it was a very uh, pleasant uh, negotiation all the way very professional handled from Al Ali and uh, of course it was um, important it's always important for a player to know what the coach is thinking uh, but um, but mr amir was very good from the beginning to to tell us um, exactly what uh, what the coach uh, had seen in vesam and what he liked so uh, we were quite comfortable in uh, in doing all the negotiation with, with uh, mr amir that was uh, very professional all the way هل انتقال وسام ابو علي للنادي الاهلي بالفعل هي اغلى صفقه انتقال للنادي السويدي وهل هناك نسبه من اعاده البيع ام لا؟ No it's not true that he was uh, the highest in any Swedish club. Uh, I think he was uh, the highest ever sold from Sirius, the club he played in Sweden. Uh, that was their club record. Uh, so uh, there's been players that's been sold from other clubs in Sweden more expensive, but for Sirius, the club he played in Sweden, it was the club record. A percentage of the of the transfer. Uh, actually, I, I don't know. That's an agreement between the clubs, and uh, I only uh, negotiate the contract with uh, Al Ali and the player. So, uh, 
those things are between the two clubs and uh, I guess they are confidential from the club so so I don't know the answer to that question. وسام ابو علي في 2021 تعرض لازمه قلبيه وساعتها غاب ما يقرب من تسعه اشهر. هل بالفعل النادي الاهلي اشترط قبل اتمام الصفقه اجراء الكشف الطبي في السويد وفي مصر ولا لا؟ He was, of course, examined very, uh, um, very much in Denmark when it happened, and uh, they never found any problems with uh, his heart. And of course, when he went to uh, to Sweden to his uh, Swedish club, they did a lot of examinations too. So uh, he never had had any problems uh, with the heart. هل بالفعل الأهلي وضع بند في حال عدم اكتساب الكشف الطبي سيتم إلغاء العقد؟ Uh, yeah, I think it's 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 quite normal in uh, all countries that uh, a player do uh, a medical examination before they sign the contract. And uh, yeah, as I, as I said, um, Vesam um, had a lot of examinations in Denmark some years ago where they never found anything. And then he went to Sweden and they did a lot of examinations and uh, there was no problems at all. And uh, Ala Ali was also very... Uh, Uh, did the medical check, <laughs> as I think they do with all players, and uh, there was no problems at all. So uh, he's he's uh, fit and well and has no problems. بعد انتقال وسام وعلي النادي الاهلي الفيديو الخاص بتقديمه من الموقع الرسمي النادي الاهلي تفاجئنا كلنا ان هو بيجيد اللغه العربيه. Yeah, a little bit the same for me um, uh, because he's uh, he's born and raised in Denmark, but um, Uh, as far as I know, his uh, his uh, parents speaks uh, fluent Arabic, and uh, and uh, and Vesam has uh, learned that also uh, together with his uh, with his Danish language and his his English language. So, uh, but I was also a little bit surprised that he was that good because, uh, of course, I don't understand uh, the language. Uh, so I I speak with him in. In Danish, but um, yeah, for me it's it, it's very good, and uh, hopefully it can uh, it can make him uh, adapt even better that he can uh, he can speak with 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 all people in different language. So uh, so I think both uh, Vesam and and I look at it as a big advantage that uh, <laughs> that he has a bigger chance to adapt from beginning. وانت متواجد هنا في القاهرة أثناء تقديم وسام أبو علي للجماهير في الفيديو الخاص اللي إحنا كنا بنتكلم عليه. ايه رايك في الفكره اللي هو ربط مسؤولين النادي الاهلي ربطوا بفكره القضيه الفلسطينيه بوسام ابو علي بما انه يحمل الجنسيه الفلسطينيه عايز اعرف رد فعلك ايه ورد فعل وسام ابو علي كان ايه لما عرف ان الفكره بتاعت الفيديو هتكون ربط بالقضيه الفلسطينيه يا اي دونت هاف ا لوت اوف كومنتس فور ذات اي ثينك وي اول نو هاو تراجيك هاو تراجيك ات از وات از هابنينج ات ذا مومنت اند اوف كورس وسام از هي از ا براود فلسطينيان اند Um, so, so I think uh, our all was good, but uh, yeah, we moved him from yeah to play uh, football from uh, Sweden to uh, Egypt. So, uh, so the political situation uh, is is not for me to to comment. I think he was uh, he was very pleased with the presentation, and uh, there's been uh, a lot of uh, nice videos of him and uh, pictures. Uh, so. Uh, He was proud to be presented in Al Ali and is is now ready to, uh, yeah, to do his his best on the pitch to to play some good football. The reason that led Osama Abu Ali to leave Europe and play in the Dutch Premier League. The motivation was um, we had some very good uh, talks with uh, with Mr. Amir and uh, and as I said in the beginning, he had uh, some good options in Europe as well. Uh, Uh, but I think the motivation from <coughs> for Vesam was to move to uh, what he believes is actually one of the world's biggest clubs uh, that is fighting for titles in Egypt, uh, that is fighting for uh, Champions League, uh, and that is uh, his uh, big goal to play a uh, World Cup for for club teams uh, like uh, Al Ahly did this, this year in Saudi. So. To play for one of the world's biggest clubs, uh, to win some titles, uh, to hopefully win Champions League and play a World Cup for for clubs is 
I think that was um, that was some of the biggest reasons that he uh, he chose to to come to Al Ahly. هل وسام ابو علي بنسبه ان هو ساب اوروبا وجه هنا الدوري المصري للنادي الاهلي هل يعرف اي حد في النادي الاهلي او يعرف نادي غير النادي الاهلي في هنا في مصر ولا كان يعرف نادي الاهلي فقط يا تكني تكني اكشلي هي نيو ا لوت اوف ذيم اي ثينك هيز هيز فادر واز هاز بين هي هي تولد بي سام ذات ال علي واز ذا كلوب ذات هي واز تشيرينج فور از ا يونج سو سو هي نيو بيسيكلي يا I don't know if he knew all of them, but he he knew a lot of players, and uh, there has also been one player in Denmark, uh, I think, playing for Midtjylland uh, that went back to Al Ahly. So, uh, and of course, we we knew some of the foreign players that was playing there. So, uh, I think right in the beginning, Vesam did a lot of um, checking. So he was uh, he was very well informed about uh, the players and the coach and uh, a lot of things. So hopefully, he's. Uh, He's well prepared to 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 make top performance for Al Ahly. That's that's what he's going for now. As I said before, he's uh, he's very well prepared, and uh, actually, I think he has some family in Kain. Uh, he has some, um, I think, a cousin. Uh, so uh, actually, he already knew some people that were there that could tell him about uh, Egypt and uh, Cairo uh, before he came. So. Um, He 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 is well prepared. Uh, he he knows a lot about Al Ahly. He's seen some games, uh, and he also has <laughs> seen some games from the other teams. So so he's hopefully prepared uh, when they, when they're going to play games, uh, how how the games would be. So uh, and he was also following a lot uh, the World Cup um, in Saudi, uh, where Al Ahly played, as I remember, against uh, Fluminense and. Uh, And maybe the team from from Japan, uh, Uavi. Uh, so, so he has seen a lot of games from the team. So he's uh, prepared uh, as as good as he can be for for how they are going to play football. عايزين نعرف وسابو علي أخبارك بيف بعد أول مرة لي مع النادي الأهلي. اللي حصل بينه وبين كولر واللاعبين. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I've almost uh, I left uh, Egypt. I think it was last uh, Thursday. Um, so I've basically been in contact with him uh, every day since. And uh, yeah, he's ha- very happy with everything. Everything is exactly like he uh, hoped it would be. Of course, he's only been there like uh, yeah, uh, maybe a little week now. Uh, but he's very happy with uh, the people in the club, uh, the training, the facilities. Uh, so everything is is exactly what he hoped for. So. Uh, So he's very happy there at the moment. The Ali has a place in the defense, and in the end, it was the choice for Osama Ali. Do you have a place in this place and you have a place in this place? Do you see that Osama Ali can be the place for the number one for the Ali? Especially when Modest was in the beginning of the season, and there are a lot of people who are not the place for the Ali. Of course, you know that Ali will be in a lot of places very important. Uh, yes, he did, and uh, he also knows that um, that that when you are coming to such a big club, there will always be a lot of competition. So, uh, as I said, he's he's really uh, he's really uh, <clears throat> uh, ready to work one hundred percent to be a success in Al Ahly. Uh, that's that's why they bought him, and uh, he'll do anything he can to. Uh, yeah, to be a success on the pitch, to work hard, and hopefully the fans will uh, will uh, will love him. Uh, but he knows that uh, that uh, <clears throat> when fans love him, uh, it usually comes after hard work, and then hopefully he will make some uh, goals and assists as well. And and hope I'll <laughs> and get uh, help Alali to get some success, and also that uh, that of course he'll get some success. So. So he he's ready to uh, to do the best he can and hopefully be a big success in Al Ahly and I know it in in such a big club there's always a big competition in a lot of positions. جماهير الاهلي بالنسبه له وسام ابو علي موجود يبقى لازم كل مباراه يسجل اهداف. ايه اللي ممكن تقوله النصيحه اللي تنصح بها جماهير الاهلي والنصيحه اللي تنصح بها وسام ابو علي من خلال موقع في الجول. I will say uh, it's always difficult to promise goals and assists. Uh, But I'll give him the same advice as I did in uh, Sirius that uh, work 100% every day on the training pits. Uh, when you play matches, do all you can, leave your heart on the pitch. Uh, 
play with a lot of emotions uh, run uh, uh, run to you almost pass on the field uh, work extremely hard and uh, hopefully uh, it will happen the same as it did in Sirius that uh, when you do that then he uh, he made a lot of goals and assists in in almost every game so uh, so uh, the one thing I can promise the fans is that he's going to do everything he can for the club work uh, work as hard as he can every day to to be a success and and hopefully they'll support him and uh, the goals and assists will come as well. نشكرك مستر يقوب على تواجدك معنا في الجول وعلى تلبيتك الدعوه ونتمنى التوفيق ليك في الايام القادمه. Thank you and uh, it was a pleasure that I could join the program and uh, I also look forward to see Al Ahly's game both in uh, in television and hopefully soon in uh, in Cairo again so so thank you for for joining.